Ben's back. Oh, hey, got him. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, hey, everybody. Um, I'm currently on a video call with the one and only Key. Um, but there's something special about this video call. It's actually happening over LokiNet, uh, which is the same system that's going to be used to eventually implement uh, voice and video calls on session to make those more private. Um, Key, do you want to explain a little bit more about how LokiNet can do uh, voice and video calls? Yeah, so the basic elements uh, or, or the basic idea is that LokiNet is not constrained just to carrying TCP packets, um, which is the typical experience of onion routers. Um, so LokiNet can carry any packets, so it can carry um, UDP packets, which is what this WebRTC uh, demo is using right here. So me and Alex are having a little, little video call. Um, right here and you can see that it's sending the candidates here. The way it's working is we have a LokiNet um, stun server which is uh, essentially communicating the um, offer from me to Alex and then we've created a video call here using both of our .loki addresses. So you can see up in the top here I have, um, that's my local .loki address and I have LokiNet running on this computer as well. And then that's Alex's uh, .loki address as well. Um, so yeah, that it's it's a pretty cool technology, and the the latency isn't too bad as well. Um, and we'll be working on getting this even better and better to to include it in sessions. So yeah, really exciting stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. We're able to have a completely normal, unenrouted video conversation, <clears throat> even on Australian internet, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, but yeah, that's that's our little demo for the LokiNet um, WebRTC video call. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and hopefully you'll see this in session sometime in the near future. See you, guys.